Thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for December 9th. And the scripture states, And thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thine hands. Hebrews 1 and verse 10. The great Jehovah had laid the foundation of the earth. He had dressed the whole world in the garb of beauty and had filled it with things useful to man. He had created all the wonders of the land and of the sea. In six days, the great work of creation had been accomplished, and God rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. God looked with satisfaction upon the work of his hands. All was perfect, worthy of its divine author, and he rested, not as one weary, but as well pleased with the fruits of his wisdom and goodness and the manifestations of his glory. The home of our first parents was to be a pattern for other homes as their children should go forth to occupy the earth. That home, beautified by the hand of God himself, was not a gorgeous palace. Men, in their pride, delight in magnificent and costly edifices and glory in the work of their own hands, but God placed Adam in a garden. This was his dwelling. The the blue heavens were its dome. The earth, with its delicate flowers and carpet of living green, was its floor. And the leafy branches of the goodly trees were its canopy. Its walls were hung with the most magnificent adornings, the handiwork of the great master artist. In the surroundings of the Holy Pier was a lesson for all time that true happiness is found not in the indulgence of pride and luxury, but in communion with God through his created works. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, (laughs) Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for your wonderful reminders this morning. I appreciate so much your testimonies. I appreciate so much your word. I appreciate so much this opportunity to go through this devotion book. I didn't know what your plan was. I am thankful to you for helping me to be obedient. I am thankful that you gave me this opportunity to use YouTube to share your word and to share your testimony. We're living in a time that your word is not important. Your word is being pushed to the side. Your word is being altered and changed. But you are God. Nothing can happen without your permission. And so you have given permission for things to happen the way it has been happening. But I know that you're a God of love and I know that the nonsense and foolishness that has been taking place, the death, the killings, the demon possessions and all these things that we're seeing plainly in this time and age, that you're going to put a stop to it. And so you are bringing our minds and hearts back to your truth, back to your word. And so, Father, we ask that you will please help us to be willing to surrender. I pray that you will clear our minds and hearts from the nonsense of this world and that we will focus on the truth of your word and be willing to be changed, be willing to accept your truth, be willing to encourage others about your love towards them. As your devotion started out, it reminded us that you created. Man didn't create. So help us to respect the fact that you are creator. You are God. 
Thank you for Jesus who called light from darkness, who gave us the animals and the trees and the flowers, who created us from dirt. Thank you that he rested on the seventh day Sabbath, on Saturday, the last day of the week. Not because he was tired, but because he, as usual, is giving us an example of what we ought to do. Help us to take time at the end of each week to put away the things of the world, the work, the bills, the homework, the issues and all these things and spend time with you and your word. Help us to realize that man changed and is trying to change your Sabbath day to the first day, which is Sunday. I pray that we'll take time to study your word and your truth. Father, thank you for reminding us that we are not to be prideful. Help us to spend time with you, truly spend time with you in nature time with you in your word. Help us to be willing to be taught by your Holy Spirit. Help us to pay attention to what's going on in the world. Help Christians to stand by the truth of your word. We're living in very serious times when those who stand by your truth will be persecuted. We will be talked about, but help us to stand firm in your truth. Help us to share your truth with others. Thank you so much for your love towards us. Guide us and bless us and keep us. Help us to surrender. Forgive us where we have fallen short. May your will be done in our lives, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.